Hello, my name is Sean Heasley with the Avaya Messaging Support Team, and this video is about custom TUIs on the Avaya Messaging System. Avaya Messaging comes with over 20 pre-configured telephone user interfaces, emulating other Avaya products as well as other vendors. The current TUI configurations are based on customer requests and feedback throughout the life cycle of this product. They are not intended to be exact replicas of other products' TUIs. This is actually stated in the server configuration guide, and it's common for customers to tailor the TUI to meet the needs of their users by making minor edits. You can't edit any of the pre-configured TUIs without first making a copy. To work with custom TUIs, we bring up the Avaya Messaging Admin Interface, expand the PBX and Company levels, and click on the Custom TUI in the left pane. All pre-configured TUIs are displayed in the right pane with any custom TUIs you have created at the bottom of the list. You can double-click any of these to bring up the TUI configuration interface. The interface is drag and drop from the actions list on the left to the key presses on the right. There are also settings for retry counts and timers if the user doesn't press a digit. The only configuration we can make without making a copy of the TUI is to make it the new default TUI. Once a copy is made, you can add key presses, remove options, and some. If you double click the actions, there is additional configuration that can be made. For example, if you double click the listen to messages action, you can change the sort order, enable autoplay and configure the envelope information items. We have published many Avaya Knowledge Base articles with step-by-step -step instructions to perform specific tasks around making custom TUI edits. In the Audix voicemail system, you could pause, rewind, and fast forward while listening to messages, and it would always play the envelope information before playing a message. We will have to enable these options if the users want this functionality. Here is our lab system, and here are the articles that we will be going through. So the pause, rewind, and fast forward in this product are called control keys. We will enable those, and also in the Audix TUI, we will enable the envelope information. There's a setting, say, envelope information in the mailbox. On the mailbox options tab, we have that enabled down here. And on the advanced tab, we have the default Audix emulation TUI number 83 enabled. But if we log into that mailbox and play a message, it doesn't play the envelope information. And we'll also press a key press 6 to try to fast forward during the message and see if that works. Please enter your password. To send a message, press 1. To listen to messages in your inbox, press 2. To agree for voice messages, press 1. Test message number 1. Test 1. Sorry, I didn't get that. Please try again to review. So it didn't fast forward when I pressed 6, and it didn't play the envelope information. So let's copy the TUI and set up those items. So we'll take the 83, we'll bring up the TUI configuration, and we'll press the copy button to make a copy. We will name it Audix Custom 2. Save it. This is the control keys button. So first, we will edit these control keys. So this article says that, that pause is on key one, rewind on five, and fast forward on six. This should be a, let's go ahead and change this to the a 10, 10 second timer. Rewind on five, and that will be five seconds. And 
and we'll put fast forward on six but for the purpose of this video we're only going to put it for two seconds So we'll go ahead and save those changes. But we're also going to enable the envelope information on the listen to messages option. So if we double click this, we can enable autoplay. And then let's just put time received. Another thing we could do is there's an option, there's an action for envelope information. And we could drag that over to one of the key presses. And then the system would prompt for envelope information, press 7, if we dragged it over to 7. But let's go ahead and save our changes. So now we have to enable the new TUI on the mailbox and then we will dial into the system and see if it plays our envelope information and we will try to forward fast in the message as well. Please enter your password. Send a message. Press 1 to listen to messages. 4. Voice messages. Small first message. August 5, 2021. There's, the, there's the envelope information. Test message number 1. 4. 5. 6. And, and we Next can fast message, forward. August 4, 2, so. Those are the two articles for the Audix TUI that I wanted to show you. There's also another article for the Stan TUI, which is the Call Pilot TUI. Uh, the articles, these two articles here, older versions of Office Links had uh, the wrong key presses for. Uh, message envelope information and uh, there's when you edit the call pilot TUI uh, there's also a looping effect that can happen if there's no new messages so we're going to try to reproduce that as well so this mailbox is using 81 stan 8.0 let's make uh, edits in we'll make a copy of that TUI and then make edits so we want to make sure that this TUI has the right key presses so let's let's go through this article change the action item on DTMF2 to envelope information in submenu number two. So let's go to submenu number two and we can see that the envelope information action is on key press two. So that, that should be good. But let's go ahead and make a copy. And we'll just save it. We'll set our mailbox up with that custom TUI.
Please enter your password. End of messages. End of messages. End of messages. End of messages. So that's the looping. There was no messages in the mailbox. So the system always auto plays messages for the call pilot TUI because there were no new messages. It repeated that prompt. So the default action on the stand TUI is listen to messages and there's a very short one third of a second timeout. So it executes this action when there are no key presses. So let's look at the article on how to resolve this. We need to note that this TUI number is TUI 113. So to correct this, under Voice Server Advanced, next submenu when no message, we have to enable that submenu 15 for TUI 113. So let's go into Voice Server, Advanced. Next submenu when no new message. TUI 81 to 113. Or there's also a way that you could have multiple entries in this field. Let's log back into our mailbox and see if we've resolved the looping problem. Please enter your password. For mailbox options, press 80. To change greetings, okay. press no looping. To change password. So there's also articles on how to turn off message counts and also if the customer doesn't want their users to have options to play email messages through the TUI, we can also uh, prevent that. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.